Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 10 of Inktober 2022. So today's tangle is called Finery and it was created by Zentangle. So I'm doing mine on a printed out calendar that you can find on my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. And then I'm also going to do it on a larger piece of paper, combining it with the first nine tangles that we've learned. Okay, so for finery, we start with a couple of lines. This is a small space to work in, like that. And then we aura each line. Mine are a tad wiggly today, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm gonna start with this left-hand side over here, and I'm gonna make a backwards S shape. So connecting from one side to the other, and then I repeat it, and I do it again. As many as you can fit. And on the next section, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm going to do the opposite way. So this one starts at the top and curves down and over this way. This one's gonna go the opposite way. If it's easier for you to turn your paper to make that, you can. It makes these pretty little shapes. And then from the center, Make a little rectangle and a couple of dots. Just like that. And that is finery. Okay, I'm going to put my calendar away and switch to a piece of watercolor paper. I believe it's a nine by 12. And as you can see, I have the tangles from the first nine days all piled in here. And as I do this, I don't have any idea of what I'm going to do before I start recording the video. So you get to find out when I do. All right, I'm gonna to switch to a larger pen. This is a Micron PN, plastic nib pen. Let's see if we can find a spot to do finery. I think I'm going to do it right here. Okay, so I start by making those lines and I've got more room, so I'm going to make them a little bit longer this time. Let's see. There's the first one. And I'd like to make a couple more just to fill up some space. So over here, I have to imagine where it would be coming out like that. All right, now the most tricky part is going back and adding the aura to each line. I say tricky because for some reason, our brains don't like to aura. The lines always end up wanting to touch each other. Keeping these nice and thin. And my last one. Right there. Okay, now I get to make those little S shapes. So I'm gonna start, I've got five, so I'm gonna start at that middle line here and do that backwards S. So scoop down and around. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do the other side. And I just kind of mirror that image. My pen is running out a little. There we go. 
Isn't that pretty? And then for this one here, I'm gonna mirror this one. So I'm gonna be going back up. That way. And same thing over here, I'm gonna mirror that image. Kind of looks like a spider web. Okay, now we put in those little rectangles, but just to be a little bit different on this one, I'm going to make them triangles instead of rectangles. And I'm going to color them in. I'm starting at that center line and going on both sides. like that. And then I'm going to add my little dots. If you've got room. And now for the next one, I can either do that little triangle again, or I can just do them on this side. So I'm going to pretend like it's sticking out right there, in there, in there. Such a pretty pattern. And on this side, we probably wouldn't see it much. There we go. Now, if I want to fill in the space up here, I can imagine where that line might come this way and I might have those dots. I probably wouldn't see the triangle there. And maybe a little bit of the triangle there. Just giving the illusion, the illusion that I know what I'm doing. Okay, and then these bottom areas you can finish off by making a little spiral and then bringing this one down and connecting it. Isn't that pretty? Little spiral and connect it. This one I'll go the other way. And one more. This one's going to tuck in behind over there. That's so cool. Now, I feel like I've got extra room here, so I'm going to do one more on each of those sides. Just to finish that off. Now, I'm not going to do another variation of this right now, but this would be beautiful in a leaf shape. So draw your leaf shape, have this be the stem in the middle, and those dots coming out. And that is finery. See how that fits in with the rest of these here, so I can zoom out a little. All right, it's looking good. So it looks really white to me. I feel like there's not enough contrast. So I'm actually gonna add in those other triangles. The rest of my piece has so much contrast. That this needs a little something else. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up, and we'll see you tomorrow for day 11. Thanks so much.